All right, howdy everybody, it's AJ. And I have here the challenge lock number 100 from Matt's Lock Pit and Daz Evers. And it is picked. I did pick it this morning. Bright and early, my gut feeling told me to video it and I did not. And I didn't want to wake anybody up. And I should have. Anyway, there's our key. I have to say, I'm a little proud of myself for this. Because it really didn't take me that long to pick it. Kind of surprised. But we we're going to see if we can't get her open again. Now, I don't even remember what pick I used this morning. I know I used... This tension wrench from Chris Capoon. But other than that, I don't remember and I wish I did. Anyways. It was definitely... A good feeling when I opened this this morning. And I'd like to see it happen again right now. But it doesn't. I just don't know. I don't remember. I don't wish I knew what pick I used. I really do. Just replay the whole thing. That would be awesome. watched how LaBelle picked this well when he did it and published it and I re-watched it again yesterday I think now, whether or not that had anything to do with me being all up in it this morning I don't know oh we got a nice little pulse set going oh sweetness and it is open brothers very cool. That's awesome. Woo, doggy. I am excited. I am excited. Now, if we can gut this thing flawlessly, that would be nice. Oops, stressed out a little bit too much. But that's okay. We can fix it. It does say. Use a shim. So that being said. We're using a shim. And again. I always try to use a shim. Ah, if I can even get it in there. Let's rotate that back. Just a hair. Get this bad boy in there. There we go. Nice. Now, if we can do this, Mr. Shim doesn't want to go in. Maybe we should get a smaller diameter Shim. Okie dokie. Mr. Shim, there it goes. Okay. Ooh, I was worried. Seriously worried for a minute. Okay, that was number six falling out of there. Two, three, four, five, six. There's number one. Number two. Number three. It's a standard pin. Wow, look at that, number four. And number five. Look at those pins. I know you can't see them just yet, but we will get a, try to get a very good look at them. I'm just excited. 
just crazily excited here. Oh, there it is. Wow. They did an excellent job on these pins, man. Nice little threaded, nice spool with some nice threading on it. Let's see if we can get these springs up out of here. Nice steel spring there. Get the other one out. There it is. Another nice steel spring. Number three. T pin, and there's something behind that. Does that go like that? I believe it does. Wow, okay. So that goes that way and that way. That's a. Th Ooh, I get it. Okay, nice little pin and pin. It's seriously threaded on that side. Wow. It's trying to come out, so we're going to get it out right now. Didn't want to go that way. Let's get that spring up out of it. Holy crap. Let's see if we can. There we go. Oh, that's the problem. I forgot to off the shim in there. All right, we're on number six now. Okay. Ooh, there's a T pin in the bottom of that. Or not a T pin. Well, it's a T pin, pin and pin. Wow, very sweet. Holy crap. And a short little copper spring, not copper, steel spring. Wow, I'm really surprised I picked that thing this fast. Get that guy out of there. All right, holy crap. Another steel spring. And now there's everything. And chamber number three is threaded in there. And that is it. And in the core... Number two is threaded, number four is threaded, number five and number six are threaded. Sweet. That is a nice lock. Alright. We're going to try this. This usually never seems to work for me though. T-pin one is a nice threaded spool with a T, kind of like a T-pin. And there are some nice threads on serrations on it. And key pin number two is very nicely serrated with this barbell type spool, I guess. And then number three key pin is a standard with this little pin and pin. And it's all nice and serrated up there. So that's going to bounce around and really screw you up. Number four is very nice double spool, I would call it, with a all thread, I call it. Number driver. And then key pin number five, sorry. A couple of nice deep serrations there. With the driver, with like three very nice serrations. And number six key pin has got very light on top, but it's deep. With the driver, another pin and pin. So all that's floating around in there. And making it difficult to pick. But apparently I got lucky twice. So that my friends. Is challenge lock number 100. From Matt's lock pick. And Daz Evers. That was a pleasure to pick. So. The next person up. I guess. They stay told me. Daz told me. Whoever wants it next can have it next. Basically there's no order. So if anybody's interested, let me know, and I'll get it back out and put out to you. Other than that, Daz and Max Lot Pick, man, this was a pleasure to pick. Thank you guys for building it. There we have it. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay lawful. Don't be the one to screw it up for the rest of us. Keep your picks where they belong. 
Tell your friends about me. I'd like to get over 50 subscribers. Anyway, thanks everybody. Have a great one.